week. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Disappeared. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Switch on the coffee maker. It looks like we're home. You've seen better days, Alan. I see a torchlight over there. But this is our house. So what could possibly go wrong, right? Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Pictures of myself. Oh yeah, I look nice. I don't have the beard on right now, do. It's a nice poster. It's Cody outside. It's wintry and all. Let's go switch on that coffee maker then. Coffee's on. Oh, it's over there. That blizzard's getting really thick. Oop. Careful of the chairs and the furniture. That's a new TV. CCTV. Ah, that's clever. What's in my other room, though? Oh, manuscript pages. Cool. And that's my typewriter. And that's my books, Return to Sender, What I Can't Forget, Alex Casey, Links That I Want to Fall of Casey. There seems to be a radio somewhere. Is there? Or is there the sound of the blizzard? There's a QR code over there. Let me, let me look at it for a minute. Maybe I need to look at it head on. Get a few good angles on it. I'll go find out what it is later. Okay. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a radio. It's coming from the bookshelf. It seems. Well, let's not bother our head about that right now. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. Oh, okay. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, we're back here then. Whoa, they... They teleported here. It really was a miracle. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh. Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box! I'm right here, darling. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Okay. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just Honey, it's a power right outage. Now, please. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. All right, darling. See? I'm right Hi. here. You okay? I'm sorry. I just it just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Okay. I guess we we'll get know the candles. I it's stupid, but it's just Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. 
Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Mr. Wick, any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wick, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Mm. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Is there anything? Oh, it's daytime. To no scary monsters. I don't have my flashlight either. Oh my god. I'm sure we'll find those in due time. This is the sheriff's office, it seems. That's row, row, row your boat. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. Sure. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Thanks for the little diatribe about fishing. It's time to go. Hmm? Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. What's she doing? I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bolts will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Look at that face. It's like these these are all crazy people in town. There goes the crazy lady. But given that there are shadow creatures Mr. lurking Wake, about, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Got it. But given there are shadow creatures lurking about, she may not be the dumbest person in the book after all. It's not missing people. Richard Bob, Bruce, and Stansky, Jacob Miller, on a camping trip, haven't been in contact. If you haven't seen them or know them about their whereabouts, please call this number. Thank you. They're probably shadow people now. Like for winning contests. The cat's missing. Oh, here we go. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Brought to you, brought to you by Verizon. Hello? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. 
Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey. Of course, Mr. Wade. Hey. You can get there through the cell corridor. I need more light in here. God damn Is that a prisoner? It. More lights. I don't like the goddamn shadows in here. Hey! Yeah, it's a mulligan it. here. I'm at Stuck in Gas Station with Thornton. Here. There's no sign hey. of him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stuck was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. Stucky's dead. You can't find him anymore. Hey, hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here! Sure, sure. Don't want those shadow creatures to be thank coming, you, right? Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here? The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I'll tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounded like something. Thing a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. Probably shadow people, right? Am I right? Crazy shadow people. Oh, see you around. Uh, I told him, oh, yeah, well, I don't hear who he is. Where are your feet? I... Huh. Manuscript pages. Wonder what they're doing here. I don't think it's time for you to be in a jail cell just yet. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. On the left. But we can go around for a bit, can't we? Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day's almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition. Huh? No point in getting all wigged up yet. Words of advice, sir. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Manuscript pages? Are those what you're talking about? Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Okay. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Well, at least we know she's around and just, she's not she's not some figment of our imagination. No running aloud in the sheriff's office. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, 
the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay. Get him some real in the eyes of madness vibes here. Or was it in the mountain of madness? One of the two. Guys, guys asleep? Kinda asleep. Good night, little man. Man, you should leave him, should leave him safe. To settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. But they have my wife. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Uh, look at that face. He's he's so done with her. He's barely even met her he's Max. done with her. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Yeah, I know. That means money. Bucktooth Charlie, Colombian Mammoth. Cool. I'd come here to rent a cabin, where I could wait till midnight. Got it, got it. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy, and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Uh, wait here. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Aww, hey, Rusty, Dougie. right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Poor doctor. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Got it. Okay, sure. What happened? I guess I'll find out when I come back. Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. Oh, but when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. Yeah, yeah, but I'm we here. To the cop. Hey, 
I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Hmm, thank you. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Okay. Mr. Wake's a little bit of a jerk. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Bowery. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Shut Look, up. Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. Wakes you up. gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Good talk. Good talk. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry. The killer. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Are you okay, Barry? Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! You okay? Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Mm. You want to know where you can shove that flashlight? Where the sun don't shine? Lock the door when I leave. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and do what you have to do. I'll be fine. Alone, but fine. In a cabin straight from a horror movie. Oh, uh, yeah, the buck over there. He's gonna come and he's gonna come and get you. Watch for you point that thing out. <laughs> point. 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 Heh <laughs> You have fun, Barry. It's a beautiful night out today. This cabin's pretty nice too. I can't see that book title. You know what, never mind about the book. Let's go. Let's just go. We're going. It's a beautiful fire too. Switch lights. Switch lights where? Oh, there. Real funny, Al. Real funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. I'll just sit here in the dark till you come back. Or until I get eaten by a Gru. Ha <laughs> ha, Gru's. There. You happy? I didn't realize we were back in the third grade here. <laughs> Seriously, cut it out, Al. My nerves are shot. Does this unlock the secret Barry comes after you mode? Apparently not. Pick up batteries. Yeah, we could always use more batteries. Anything else? Blender? Coffee? Coffee blender? Okay then, we're all set. 
Let's go.